All right, today I'm gonna to talk about how do we take a uh, AC window unit, just your standard AC window unit, and turn that into something that will cool enough that you can use it for a walk-in cooler. Uh, most factory window units um, have a setting that won't let them go below 60 degrees, right around 60 degrees. Um, and that's a problem, obviously, if you're gonna do a walk-in cooler. We're in Texas, and we're gonna use this walk-in cooler for uh, deer uh, where we deer hunt and um, meat at about 50 degrees or above can start forming the bacteria um, that will spoil it. And so for us, we need to get that temperature down. We want to keep it down to maybe 38, 40, somewhere in that range, uh, definitely below that 50 level, 50 degree level mark. So the question is, is how do we do that? Um, I won't talk much about how we built the, the walk-in cooler um, but i'll just say that based upon the size which is ended up being interior dimensions uh, a little over seven foot uh, deep a little over uh, three feet wide and then about seven feet high um, fully insulated so based on that area and the temperature we're wanting um, it looked like we needed to be at about an 8,000 btu uh, ac however this is my ac window AC unit and I've got it apart just so we can see um, but the this unit here is actually 10,000 BTUs it's a Frigidaire uh, it has digital display um, so you know freeze good uh, so in this case what I'll start with is say that every window unit has a thermostat that's generally mounted in these fins somewhere right through here and that's the main thermostat. That's what turns the unit on and off. It set temperatures, whatever you put on that, on that, uh, on that front panel. Uh, if it's 70 degrees, and when it gets you know above 70 degrees, it'll turn it on. This one had a second uh, thermostat, which is was in this little hole here, and that one's just a freeze protection. Um, so those two thermostats uh, were on this unit, and they are on a lot of units, but. Um, the main one is the one that's connected to that, fins, to that fin. Now here's both my wires. This is both of the cables for um, the thermostats. Now you can go out, there's a, there's a bunch of YouTube videos. You can go out and there's some, the guy's telling you, hey, you can all these relays and cut these wires and all that stuff. And I, I did not want to do that. I didn't want to, well, I know I have a basic knowledge of electric, electrical circuitry. Um, I am not an expert. I'm certainly not an AC expert. I don't know any, that much about the, the um, compressor, how it works, and the capacitor. Um, I just didn't want to mess with all that. So there's another company out there that uh, for about three, well, a few hundred dollars, uh, you can buy a module and it's real simple to hook up and it works fine. Um, however, uh, I didn't want to spend that much money. And so uh, as I was thinking about this, something occurred to me. Not, fancy panel, all electronic um, to run this thing. But this one little wire, the main thermostat wire that was mounted right there is what turns everything on and off. So when that temperature that you have it set to is warmer than what you have it set to, it turns on. Problem is, is that this thing is programmed. Don't need to let it go down about 60 degrees. So here's my hack. So what I did was I went and bought a nightlight, just a simple seven watt bulb uh, nightlight with a switch, switches on. Then what I did is I took that thermostat wire, that main thermostat wire, and I put it right against the bulb and put foil around that. I didn't want to do tape because this, this will get warm. This tape will eventually deteriorate and start to get slimy and may come off. So I just put foil around it first. Um, and then I took the freeze protection and put it on the outside of that foil and just ran one piece of tape around it. Um, so um, then, you know, of course you can plug this in and, and this bulb will come on and it'll make this AC think that it's actually warmer than what it is outside. However, you may say, well, that's great, but now the thing's gonna run all the time. Well, here's my, my second part to that hack. So what I did was um, I took a regular, you know, simple, you know, electrical extension cord. You know, this is just one of those household lamp type extension cords. And I went and bought this unit here, which is a mechanical 
line volt, 120 volt um, thermostat. And this thing's just basically a switch. It's a switch that has a thermostat connect to it. So you set the temperature and whenever that thermostat uh, temperature is, is, is above what you set it for, that switch opens or closes and, and sends um, electricity through the, through the switch. You have, an, you have an in, the common here, black, this is the in power, and then you have blue, which is the out power that goes um, to whatever it is you're powering. In most cases, this would be a, a actual AC of some sort. But what I did was I took that electrical cord and I cut the hot wire side, which by the way, if you don't know, the small prong side is the hot wire side. The big side is the neutral side. So I took that hot wire side and I just basically spliced it. And I took, uh, I bought me a little Home Depot wire here with two wires in it just to be able to remotely store that or, or mount that um, thermostat away from the actual unit. Um, but I spliced in here by the plug. Um, I took the hot coming, coming from the wall and um, that was the black here. I connected it to the black wire you see there. So that's going in to the switch. Then I took the blue wire which was coming out and I had that run to my nightlight. That's the side that goes to the female side of the plug. So um, in essence, all I did was put a switch in between the plug and the female end of the plug. So just to show you how this works here, um, I'll take, I'm gonna take this unit here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this in first. So I've got that plugged in. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this female side and plug it into the light. Okay, so now as you can see, we're plugged in, the electric cord's plugged in. This unit's already plugged in. Um, first, before I turn on the AC, I'm gonna show you what happens here. So right now, everything's, the current is running through this. So I'm gonna switch this a little lower and the light comes on. So I just move that to about 70 degrees. It's about 84 degrees here right now, but in the garage, it's probably a little cooler. Um, and then I turn it higher and it goes back up. So basically all you're doing is you created a little heater to keep that thermostat warmer than what you think it is. And whenever the temperature, whatever you set that temperature to, if I set it to 40 degrees, this thing's gonna keep this um, sensor warm, thermostat sensor warm until the point where um, this unit senses that it's 40 degrees. I'm gonna mount this about five or six feet away, somewhere mid midway on my walk-in cooler. So when this reaches, if I set it to 40 and it says, oops, I'm at 40, all it's gonna do is it's gonna turn off that light. And in, in a few minutes, this bulb will cool down enough that uh, the air conditioner will now say, oh, okay, well, um, I've got to turn off because I'm definitely below uh, the minimum temperature of 60 degrees that, that I would be. So it's gonna stay off until this thing comes on. Now you can set this, um, you can set this to, to, to whatever you want because keep in mind, this is gonna run, you know, unless you set this to 90 degrees and this is 90 degrees, it's gonna run. So whatever temperature this bulb is gonna be, and I, I really don't know yet what temperature that bulb's gonna be, but just by holding it a few minutes ago, I assume it's gonna be, it, it got pretty warm. I'd say it was, it was pushing, you know, 90 to 100 degrees probably. Well, not hot enough it'd burn your finger, but definitely warm. Um, so I'll probably set this thing at about, you know, it's minimum 60 degrees. Um, and then I'm going to set this at 40. And so it's going to run, it's, this thing's going to just keep running, um, in, until it hits that 40 degrees. And then it's not going to come back on until this unit, since it's set lower, tells it, Hey, it's above 40 degrees. And I think the differential on this is six degrees. So if it hits 46, it's going to pop back on. So the, the electronics within the AC unit will never really come into play from a thermostat standpoint. It's just going to be, you know, we're, 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 we're basically getting in front of that process with this manual hack here. So there you go. So we got about $1.50 here for this night light. Oh, I don't know. You probably have one of these laying around too, but, but I would assume these are three or four bucks at Home Depot. This was $36, I believe, at, um, from Granger. And again, it's just a 120-volt line voltage 
um, thermostat. And this one's actually um, for cold and heat, for, for AC and heat, but I've got the heat wire just tucked back up in there because I didn't need it. This is, I didn't care about heat with this thing. Um, they also have one that's just cool, which the only difference is it doesn't have the red wire. It just has the blue the blue and the black wires. They're both the same price, so it didn't really matter. Uh, they didn't have the the, cold, the one for AC only in stock whenever I wanted this, so I just said, fine, that'll work. So um, that's it. So you got, you know, $40, $40 to, to $50 for this setup, and if your goal is to have something to keep uh, the room colder, um, this will work for you. There you go.